Yeah, I'd say that's an armful. Alright, so I am about to build my brand new computer. The motherboard I got was an Asus, and it seemed like it was on the cheaper end of things, but I was looking at it and it didn't really seem like I needed anything fancy. It doesn't have any USB 3.0 or any SATA 6.0 gigabit connections, so, but I was researching it and I don't need those things, so I was like, I don't really, it didn't seem like I really needed, needed a very good motherboard. The processor I got was a quad core 3.4 gigahertz processor, and I went for AMD instead of Intel because I heard that you just get the bigger bang for your buck with AMD. Intel is really top of the line stuff and I really don't need top of the line. And I got a pro uh, heatsink and fan. This one may have seemed like overkill. I am sure I won't be using the full potential this heatsink uses, but I figured it'll be very helpful in future builds so I decided to cough up the money for it. And then I got some highly recommended thermal paste, Arctic Silver 5. And for the graphics card, I got a Radeon 6870, and I was looking at the graphics card's ranking sites after I bought this, and it was like I picked out the 11th most powerful type of graphics card. And my sister's MacBook Pro, she has a graphics card in there that ranked like 102nd place, so I was like, ugh, I hope I didn't go overkill, but it will be nice to have nonetheless. And then I got two 4 gig sticks of RAM, so 8 gigs, and then I got dual... 640 gig hard drives that are 7200 RPM each, so I'm going to be putting that up in a RAID 0 configuration to get double the speed. And then I got three extra fans. Two of them will be going right in the case, and the third one will be going on this heatsink. And in my old desktop, I'll be taking out the wireless card, my SSD, my terabyte internal, and my CD-ROM and be putting them in this computer, but I can't really show you that because it's backing up files right now. Oh, and a few other things I forgot to mention there. I got the Antec 300 computer case, a 750 watt power supply, and the system builder version of Windows 7 Home Premium. All right, now let's get started with the build. There it is. Wow. That thing is small. Locked it. Well, let me butt in here and say really quick that after that shot, I got standby and record mixed up, so I did not get the shot of me installing the power supply. Fortunately, I caught it right after that. Where's your recording? Ugh. Are you putting all the screws? Work like a belt. 
not very easy to film. A fan. One in there. Okay. Okay, here's my USB wireless card thingy from my old computer. And that computer had an old mount, so I'm gonna need to find a place to put it on this new computer. All right, I think I found a little secret on my case. I'm gonna be using this little hole to screw in this screw, like that. So maybe I could stick the antenna out through here? That's what it looks like from the inside. So I've got my LED lights here. Just pop that on there. Yeah, this one slips right on there. Okay. So that's my front panel, USB ports, and my microphone and headphone jack. All right, so my wireless card over here, I guess it plugs into this USB thingy? If it'll focus right. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I guess I can put the DVD ROM in there. And I think I'm supposed to go just that far. You know, honestly, I think I only need one screw in there. Punch this thing out. Okay, so here's my SSD from the old computer. Here's my terabyte hard drive. It's one of those greeny hard drives. I don't ever buy any of these. Only 5400 RPM. And the second hard drive. Caviar block. Spread through there. I don't know which way the fans are going to go, so I just put in one screw each. So I guess I just have to use the adapter thing that came with my SSD. There. Oh, this... Oh, look at that, all my hard drives go up and down. Maybe I should put in some more screws, hang on. Again, the graphics card is kind of cramping everything. There. Oh, and by the way, I was able to put the, the other antenna right here in the screw that holds the the DVD ROM in place. Okay, I believe I have everything hooked up. Let's see if this thing will turn on and if it'll let me install Windows. So anyway, I'm gonna put this huge thing over here. Here's the old computer. Never get a slim line. I have regretted it ever since. All right. Loading Asus Express Gate. These are these fans are are the wrong way. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Press F1. Enter setup. How about the yeah? The graphics card is spinning too. Even my DVD ROM opens up. Very nice. Okay. Should I boot this up? Exit and save changes. And this is the System Builder edition, so it's not like it comes in any fancy thing. I believe it's what. The original are HP and Dell manufacturers actually used.
Yes, so everything installed flawlessly. Now I'm gonna put this panel back on and then move everything onto the floor. All done. So everything worked out very well with my new computer. If you guys would like to build your own computer, I've linked to a series of videos by Machinima Realm below. They uploaded a great set of videos that are very well edited and very informative on the basics of choosing the components for your computer. But keep in mind that those videos should only be a starter tool for the components that you choose. I ran hundreds of Google searches figuring out which components I should buy. I wanted to get a computer that could edit HD video very smoothly. And boy, did all of that research pay off. I mean, this computer, I can probably edit HD video about 10 times faster now, and it renders video at least two to three times more quickly. Now there is a lot more I'd like to talk about this computer, but this video is long enough as it is. So I've uploaded a separate video where I talk about just the problems that I had with the computer, as well as a modification to install an SD card reader from the old computer. Because that's one thing I overlooked. The Antec 300 case does not come in with its own SD card reader. So if you guys would like to see that video as well, click the link here. It's just not going to be as interesting as all. Alright, I believe that's all I have to say right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See ya!